Let's discuss improving the quality of our image and trying to get the highest resolution, least noisy image possible. We'll begin with 512 by 512, as you see here on our resolution. Our speed is at 400 hertz, and we have not engaged any line or frame averaging. And so we will go down and click on capture an image. And let's capture an image of our specimen. And here you see all three of our fluophores and our composite image. So that's a 512 by 512 image. How do I increase the resolution of this image? Well, there's several ways to do it. I can go back over here to this screen and I can increase my digitizer resolution. So let's go 1024 by 1024. We'll click on capture image again. You'll see the system capture an image. It took a little longer that time. Why? Our resolution has doubled. And now you can see it's a little bit better image, but it's also becoming a little grainier. How do we eliminate some of that grain? Well, if we go back over to the other screen, now we can implement line average. And here we're going to average out the information from five different line scans. Because we're scanning each line five times, this will slow down. And so I'm going to click on Capture an Image, and you can watch this screen here, and you'll see the image being collected. And now you can see it's a little bit slower. Why? We're collecting five scans from each line, and we're averaging those. Notice that the image is a lot cleaner. It's less noisy. So if we look on our composite image, you see now a lot of that pixelation has gone away. So by increasing the resolution of our digitizer and increasing the line averaging, we get a cleaner image. Let's try that with frame averaging. So we'll go back over here, we'll turn line averaging back to one, and we'll take frame averaging Let's make it four frames. So now we're going to average each of four frames together, and let's see what our image, image looks like. I'll click on Capture Image, watch the screen here, and you'll see our high resolution image come up a little bit faster and a little bit grainier. So you can see that frame average is not as good as line averaging for producing a nice clean image. Let's try it again, only this time we're going to increase our resolution even more. So I come up here to resolution. Let's do a 2K by 2K image. And we will change frame averaging back to one. Let's just capture an image at 2K by 2K. And you'll see how grainy this is. But you might say, well, Mark, we increased our resolution. How can it be grainy? Well, again, there's noise in the system, and so by using line and frame average, we can eliminate some of that noise, reduce some of this pixelation, and increase the resolution of our image. So let's go back and engage line averaging. Let's select five scans per line. We'll click on Capture Image again. Watch the right screen, and you'll see our new image come up. Again, it's slower. Why? We're scanning each line five times. But when you look at the resultant image, you'll see that a lot of the noise has gone away and a lot of the pixelation has gone away. So line averaging, frame averaging are very useful. Now remember, you see how slow the scan is because we're doing many averages. How do I increase that speed? Well, I can go back over to my speed pull down menu and let's say I want to increase it to 700 Hertz. So now I'm going to capture my image. We'll watch it again. And this should prove to be a little faster than it was last time. Well, you can't appreciate the speed. It is going a little faster than it was before. And as a result of the speed, you see the trade-off that there is some pixelation. So speed is helpful when you do averaging, but there's always a trade-off on whatever you select in terms of making your better image. Let's go back and turn off line averaging. We'll make that one. 
And let's do frame averaging again. We'll do four. Now we're going to click on capture image and watch the image on the right screen. This is a little faster. Again, frame averaging is always faster than line averaging, but it doesn't return as nice a result. Here you see on our composite image, it's still a little bit pixelated. So we can improve that by doing both frame and line averaging. I don't recommend that you do both. And if you do, I would say only select maybe two scans per line and more scans per frame. So let's click on capture image. Watch the image on the screen. Again, there's always trade-offs. And here you see it's become a little more pixelated again. We see some pixels in here, but it's still scanning. So some of those pixels will go away over time. So by playing with resolution, by playing with speed, by playing with the line and the frame averaging, we'll, we'll tend to get better images, higher resolution images that are suitable for publication. Ooh.